Has anybody noticed that the short interest ratio for GameStop is at 18.85 days to cover? Now, this is a metric that does use volume, but almost 20 days to cover is something that I don't remember seeing on a given stock in quite a while. You're also seeing 24.53% short interest. Now, I haven't been tracking GameStop short interest, but I remember when it was up to around 40%, people were going crazy. And back when GameStop actually ran, we realized that when it was reported at 40%, it was actually 140%. What is going on guys, Lottery Socks here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if you're new. In today's video, we are going to be giving you guys a price prediction coming into next week on AMC as well as GameStop. And I'm gonna give you my price prediction and what I think is to come for the week. Now I will still be attempting to update you guys. I have two very important videos that I'm excited to share with you that will be posted this week. Um, if you haven't seen my crypto update yesterday, I posted an update yesterday, kind of just a quick one. Uh, crypto crashing, what I'm buying, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. I talked about how I will be gone for the week. Going on a cruise, never been on one before. Pray for me. Should be, should be fun, but a little bit sketched out, right? Overall, without further ado, guys, let's get into today's video because it is important. Make sure to watch until the end and please just hit that like button for me. I appreciate it. Let's get into it. Okay, so crazy high short interest for GameStop with days to cover almost at 20 days, which is absolutely insane. One thing I wanted to point out over on AMC as well is looking at the short volume. You can see recently the short volume has ticked up to highs that we haven't seen in quite a bit. And if you look over here, it went from 6 million to 11 million, 10, 11. So 11 million, almost 12 million back to back to back for three days, April 10th, April 11th, as well as April 12th. So you're seeing that for three days with total short volume reported getting up to around 75%, almost 76%, which is something that we usually do not see with AMC. I can scroll all the way down here. So it's getting higher, even though we're at an extremely low price, even though um, we're getting hammer candles, it's getting harder for them. It looks like to push it down. When short interest gets higher, when price gets lower, it looks like it's harder for them to push it down. And yesterday we didn't cover the short interest. We actually skipped over numbers in yesterday's video on Friday's update. We're sitting at 20.69%. So it kept running up, running up, running up, stopped around 20.5 and then dropped for a day and then reported higher once again at 20.69%. So short interest is still continuing to rise on AMC at 54.33 million shares shorted. Now we pay attention to this for the trend. Again, we assume it's much higher, but now AMC and GameStop short interests are becoming neck and neck, at least what is reported. Coming into next week, we have apparently 1.6 million shares available to borrow to, against the stock. So be aware of that. 60,000 people betting that the stock is gonna go up and about 48,000 people betting that it is going to go down. But since we are already going down, it seems like premium is just going to be handed over to mark makers for anybody betting calls on next week unless they roll them over. Now, short exempts also got high for the 11th and the 12th, 230,000, then 276, and this is up from 100,000 and this is up from 100,000 back to back, right? So it died down for a couple of days and then ended up rising once again. GameStop start the week, 80,000 shares available to borrow against the stock with about 130,000 people betting that the stock is going to go up next week. And honestly, it has a chance and we're going to get in the chart, but it's going to be temporary. And then you have about 60, 70,000 people betting that the stock is going to go down. So if we do go down, a lot of premium going to market makers for GameStop. Short exempts died down to only 5,000 for the 12th. So Seems like they got GameStop to kind of where they wanted to get it to. And before we get into GameStop's chart, let's touch on AMC's. Okay, AMC, you know what we've been tracking. Same cycle period, the drop down, the channel trading sideways coming into April 15th, which was supposed to potentially be our bottom. Now, this is going to be interesting because we're all the way up at $2.65. We were down 5.36% on Friday. And if the bottom is on Monday, you're going to see a large, large drop. Here's why I say that. If we take a look previously at AMC, from the top where this flushed down to making its low, it dropped 52%. Okay, you can see that right here. From this top right here, first flush down to the very bottom, 52% in that amount of days. If the same exact thing happened, we are only down 40%. 52% down is going to bring the stock to $2.10, $2.09. Now, what is very interesting about this is even if we do flash down to $2.09, right, on Monday, 
or this week ahead, I think that is going to be the bottom before curling back up. Either way, I think this week is going to be the week to enter calls, not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor or add more shares. Last opportunity or one of the last potentially, right? This is interesting because a long time ago, we, we saw a glitch on the tokenization of AMC stock with FTX when FTX was a thing randomly in the middle, right? Right around May, I believe of 2022, we saw a flash down from the price AMC was trading at to $2.09. I shit you not. If this is the bottom, the algo is very weird. And I'm just putting that out there that that could be the bottom that we're looking at right now. Either way, I expect AMC to still make a lower low than where we're at now coming into the week. And then after this week, move higher. This is my expectancy for AMC. And the market is going to affect that. Tomorrow, I will have a market update for you guys. Looking at GameStop, from the very top of the channel in the blue cycle, GameStop dropped a total of 55% before entering the red cycle. GameStop, where it's trading at right now, is down only 34%. A 55% drop from the top of the part of this cycle is going to bring GameStop down to a low of $7.38 to around $7.40, right? that level what's very interesting about this is this actually hits a macro descending trend line not the wedge okay it doesn't hit the wedge it actually touches the macro descending trend line this is a good indication that amc and gamestop will hit their all-time low okay their all-time low before moving higher or will have a large move higher now if gamestop plays out what we've been tracking instead of doing that right you could see a temporary bounce here and curl all the way back up to around $14 before getting rejected and coming back down. And if that is the case, you're going to see a little bit of gamma ramp coming into the week because you have over 120,000 people betting that the stock is going to go up. Either way, these are the outcomes that I expect as of right now. I don't think GameStop dropped enough from the high of the blue cycle. Okay, so be aware of that. However, the short exempt volume dying down to that low shows me that they may have gotten it to where they wanted it to get to for now. But if AMC flushes down, expect GameStop to flush down as well and hit those lows. It will also fill several gaps if it does get down to those levels. Um, on top of that, Ethereum Classic, this is a scary thing. Ethereum Classic ended up failing uh, levels once twice failing a breakout coming back into what is now going to be the demand zone and it's, it's testing the bottom of it okay down three percent twenty eight dollars fifty six cents ethereum classic was supposed to play out this cycle back here where it ran up and then came all the way down what's scary about this is it actually looks like it's playing out a mid cycle okay which would mean that the cycles are double delayed i don't think this is the case if bitcoin does have its leg up I think what could potentially be holding Ethereum Classic here, as well as XRP, is if Ethereum ETFs are approved, essentially, this is going to have a sympathy move if they are approved in May or if they are approved down the road. Now, the SEC is fighting that. The SEC is also fighting XRP and has been fighting XRP. XRP failed the 62 cent breakout twice, which is a crucial level. As well, XRP was supposed to have this double dip, double dip before moving higher, and it's getting held up. It's getting held up as well as Ethereum Classic. And why I'm bringing this up is because AMC trails these two. Okay, AMC tracks right alongside them. So I just want to point that out there. Um, overall, last but not least, to close out the video, AMC also had an order imbalance on Friday. 64,996 shares on the buy side. Another good thing to see, they couldn't match sellers. So AMC short interest rising, GameStop short interest rising, days to cover rising, getting to new lows, looking like it's harder for shorts to push them down. Shorts about to be liquidated in crypto if Bitcoin moves higher. If Bitcoin moves higher, then Ethereum Classic, XRP likely to move higher. If those move higher, AMC, GameStop likely to move higher. However, a temporary pullback in Bitcoin, which is looking likely, uh, a temporary pullback in the market, which is looking likely due to escalations of war and other factors such as that, hot inflation data, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, may cause a pullback in AMC and GameStop. The last flush down I see right now across the board major buying opportunities, and that is what I want to say. I would say at least what I'm doing is having dry powder on the side to be able to purchase up the dip on Bitcoin, the market, AMC, GameStop, Ethereum, whatever it is, right? 
Whatever it is, let me know in the comments down below what you think about today's video, about the price prediction, and what you are doing going forward. Do you guys agree with me? Overall, I really hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. If you haven't seen my crypto update yesterday, make sure to go watch that. It's a chill video. Also, guys, get in the Discord if you're not in. The link is right under the video. It's pinned in the top of comments and in the description. Your grandfather did at the price you join at. You will not regret it. Come talk with me, especially when I'm gone for the week. Please, I really like to connect with you guys. And it's well worth the price. I'm running out of breath here, okay? We have options trading alerts in there. We talk stocks as well as crypto all day long. There are no bad questions. Whether you're a beginner, brand new to the market, or advanced trader, this is the place to go. Come hang out with us. It is well worth it. Let's get financially free together. And if you guys want up to seven free fractional shares and potentially 10 of the Magnificent 7, Apple, Microsoft, Tesla, NVIDIA, Amazon, Google, etc etc use my link open a mumu account right use the broker and make a deposit into there if you deposit a dollar you're getting free fractional shares if you deposit a hundred dollars you're getting up to 10 free fractional shares of the magnificent seven which could be a major opportunity for some free money do it while the weekend is here you're also getting level two order book data for free access to trading options going on going short and more we have crucial earnings coming up that we're going to talk about in tomorrow's video and mumu is going to be a great help of that overall that is what i got for you guys for today's video hopefully you enjoyed watching or found value out of the video i love you all lottery socks out